Welcome to The Shed. I'm Sid, Mackie's on the camera, and today we are gonna be learning how to change the travel on a Fox Fork. I hate these things, I can never open my What does it say to do? I don't know, I didn't read that. <laughs> this task, you will need your fork, the air shaft for the correct fork and travel that you are changing to, screwdriver, pokey tool, ooh, what were these called? Fork lowers remover to removal tools, the correct sockets for your fork, socket wrench, shock pump, a 32 millimeter flat socket, syringe, slick oleum or slick honey, fox 20 weight gold, and five weight suspension fluid, shop towels, an oil pan, allen keys, oh, and my favorite, the rubber mount. Why would you do this to yourself? Why would you do all of this work? <laughs> well, obviously you want to change the travel on your fork. I'd say most often you might want to do this because you got a bike that was stock, say 150, and you want to bump it out to 160 for a little bit more aggressive feel. That is what we are doing today. This fork is off my Niner Rip. It comes stock 150, it's a great bike. A lot of people say it is even more fun descending with 160, so that's what we're gonna try. This is a new uh, task for you, is my understanding. Yeah, I've never done this, but I think, I feel more confident about the like removing the lowers part. Which is the first step. A lowers service. Yeah. Is it the first step? Good point. It was a trick question. It was a trick question. Well, the actual first step is gonna be putting the fork into the vise. Prefer the vise over the bike stand, but we have done suspension services with the bike stand many, many times. The first first step, which I forgot the last time we did this, is to take it out of the air and note what the air pressure is, except exactly. I don't need to do that because we've already done that today. All right, we're gonna take off this. shooby dooby dooby doo First, you take off your rebound knob. Since you're removing the lowers anyway, if your bicycle needs a lower service, yeah, this is an excellent to time to do it. I mean, we're essentially doing a lower service because we're gonna have to replace all the oil, right? That's upside down. We're not gonna replace the seals or the O-rings because we don't so need to. So I'm gonna loosen this. Correct. And then there's a crush washer on there that you're gonna have to get off. Oh, right. I remember this being good. a huge pain in the butt. As we showed in our lower service video, you can do this with a socket and a mallet, but, you know, at your own discretion. What are you doing wrong here? Is that the wrong one? Nope. I'm gonna play this game. Think about it. Think about what you're doing. What are you going to do after this step? Bang on it. What's gonna happen if you bang on it? Nothing, because there's no space there. There needs to be like a half right. centimeter or maybe even I three quarter centimeter. That part. Yeah, because what you're trying to do is push those into the lowers. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So we're gonna hit it like this yep. before we hit it from the bottom. Yeah, it's, it's, you can do it like this because the oil is not gonna come out until it's released. Ready? Yep. Good, that one went. Awesome. Try pushing it up with your finger. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. This fork oil is extremely clean. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, we'll give this guy another whack whack. Try not to dip my braid in the oil. Is there supposed to be oil on the side? Generally, there's supposed to be oil, yes. Okay, well, that's interesting. It's a good thing you're doing a lower surface. <laughs> <laughs> this is your damper side, mm -hmm. which we did not mess with. And we're not going to mess we're with. Not going to mess with. <laughs> And this is your air side, and this is what we have to remove, is this air shaft here. And the way we're gonna do that is you're gonna push it all the way up into the fork. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll let out more air. We must not have let all the air out quite. Um, and now you need to remove this top cap, like you did for the tokens. And we talked about this in our fork token video, but do you do really want to use the flat socket? This is one of those times Hold it to the side. where you want to use the right. Yeah. There's just not much lip on here. So if you get a curved one, you're likely to strip it. And that is bad news bears. Uh oh, that's what you want to not do. <laughs> oh, I actually did Got loosen it. it. Yeah. This is also a great time to change the tokens in your fork if you need to add or remove them because you're already taking it apart. Now, rotate the fork so that you can see the bottom of it. There's a retaining clip right 
in there that you have to hook and pull out. With what? Either a screwdriver or the pokey tool. So try using the screwdriver to hold the other side to keep it from rotating as you hook underneath it. I feel like a dentist. It. I'm afraid it's gonna fling out and hit me in the face. No, I don't think it's gonna do much flinging. I'm not enjoying this. Like half out, it just wants to spring back into this thing. Yeah. So once you've got it hooked underneath and it's like lifted, okay. then move the screwdriver and hook the screwdriver like behind that side to try to pry it out. If it goes back in, now I'm gonna die. You can do it, you can now do what? it. You got Now you just work it out all the way around. Oh. There you go. Hallelujah. Well done. Now, you are going to attach the lower leg removal tool that is the correct size for that one, and you're gonna pull. Oh, it's getting colder, I can feel it. It's okay, you're, clo you're about halfway. Oh, well that was easy. <laughs> I was like, you geared up for a wrestling match. Yeah, you were. It just came right out. We should wipe this off. Wipe it off and then we'll put the other one back in. Now, want to guess what the next step is. Put it back in. Yes. They said to put slick honey all over that, the shaft up here and on top. This is what happens when you open a new tube of slick honey at 8,000 feet of elevation. All right, it's actually not exploding. It was pressurized, but I think it was air. So just so everybody knows, slick honey and slick oleum are the same thing, but slick oleum is way cheaper. You're basically just very carefully straight pushing it back in. Like honey. Like slick honey. Is that Wait. in far enough? I feel like. Yeah. Oh, actually, that, um, means that. Whoops. Okay, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> We're all time. <laughs> that was such a satisfying noise, though. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be annoying, but not as annoying. Yeah, now you oh, just have man. to squeeze it together, basically. Squeeze. Uh, look at it. Is one side beveled? No. Okay. I just didn't know if one side was to make it easier to come out or something. So. Look at that. Did it snap into place? Pull on the shaft. Okay, I think it's pretty happy then. Okay. Want to guess what's next? Lowers. It, it can be. Basically, there are there are two steps that you have to do. One is the lowers, and the other is what? Oil, but that has to happen after the lowers. Yeah. Air. Why can you not do the air right now? Yes. But okay. before you put that on, you put three cc's of 20 weight gold in the top. I hate these things. I can never open my. What does vitamins. it say to do? I don't know. I didn't read that. <laughs> Close tightly. While pushing down, turn. So we're gonna open it, so we're gonna push down. <laughs> well, the main issue is that you're twisting the wrong way as you push down. Well, see, I'm twisting the opposite way of the arrows because it's telling me to twist that way to close it. Yes. And I'm trying to open it. Come on, you can do it. Did I do it? No. Oh my God, I hate these things. I could never you poison it, myself it. even if I wanted to. <laughs> Oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> I think I was just too slick honeyed. Wow, that stuff's beautiful, it's maple syrup. I don't know how much a cc is. It says it on the side. That actually looks like about three cc's, so that's good. This syringe has certainly worked better in the past, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when it's I don't a know warmer. what its problem is. Yeah, maybe that's it. So putting the cap back on. We're like less capable even than usual because it's freezing in here. I'll put some slick honey on both sides. Yeah, on yeah, all the seals. The I can't possibly get slimier than I am right now. Actually, apparently I can. And we're on. I'm gonna check the internet to see how much oil we're gonna put in. The all 36 millimeter grip and grip two damper side bath. There we go. And in we go. Yeah, that's like a much better idea. I don't know what we were thinking earlier. It's sort of hard to see what's going on here. Move your finger really fast. Well done. That went better than I thought it was going to, I'm not gonna lie. Glad I put it in the right side too, I wasn't really thinking. So we're gonna scooch this down, right? Yep. Until we find the other one. Which hopefully will be any minute now. There it is. Excellent. Okay, so is, does it matter which side I do first? No, but it does matter that you have a crush washer. That's much better. Okay. All right. Okay. 
We don't want that to be too yeah, do tight. Do a tiny bit tighter than that. But tighter than that, apparently. That's good. Basically, you're you're trying to crush the crush washer, yeah, and, and that's it. Stop. Good. Try just putting one on first. It may go either direction. I don't know. No, it goes like that. Okay. I think. This is the sort of annoying part, isn't it? Yeah, because you have to line up that the knob with its flat part. All right, so you're gonna put your rebound back where you want it. Once you've got your air, all you've got to do is knock everything over, <laughs> put this back on, put it on your bike, and ride out of here like a boss. This is how to change the travel on a Fox fork in under one minute. Place your fork in a vise or bike stand and remove the air. Make sure to note what the pressure is. Then remove the rebound adjustment knobs followed by the lower lock nuts and crush washers on both sides. Attach the lower leg removal tools leaving a one centimeter gap and hit them firmly with a rubber mallet. Remove the lower leg removal tools and push the damper and air spring into the fork and allow the oil to drain. Then remove the lowers and set aside. This is a great time to replace your seals and foam o-rings if you haven't in a while. Now remove the top cap using a flat socket and carefully remove the retaining clip from the bottom of the air side stanchion and pull out the air shaft. Apply slick oleum to the new air shaft and insert it into the stanchion, then reinstall the retaining clip. Then inject 3cc of 20 weight gold into the air chamber and install the top cap. Reinstall the lowers with the correct quantity of oil on each side, then install the crush washers and lock nuts. Reinstall the rebound adjustment knobs and air it up to your desired pressure. 